Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to model this roof. So here is an example of the roof I just modeled. Okay, so let's start. Um, first, let's create a project. And then uh, let's do a model in place and mass okay and okay so um, before I before I create this mass I'm just going to mo uh, add to some reference plan so RP reference plan and this will be y, um, x y okay so go also go to elevation and I'm going to add to extra reference plans so uh, this they will become the level, um, the lower level, and the higher level. Okay, so I'll just give it to name lower. This one can be higher, upper. Okay, so go to floor plan. So actually, I'm going to uh, going to side plan now. We need some ref, uh, reference lines. Okay, so reference, um, maybe ellipse and uh, set word plan set. So because we named the reference plan, we can pick the here yeah, from the list lower. Okay, so for the lower, I'm going to draw it something like this. Okay, and then another one set word plan upper. Okay, so maybe like this. So you can you can always you can still adjust adjust them. So even move them maybe like this. Let's have a look in 3D view. So okay, and you can also go to elevation to adjust uh, the this so reference plan. So I'll just drag this bit. Drag, drag the reference plan uh, out so we can easily uh, pick on them. So see, so if we can adjust the height. So now we can create a mass. One, two, select them, um, create form. So <clears throat> so now this this is actually a solid. So we so we only need this face. Okay, so tab select. And device surface. So we will say that's half of the of the surface we need. So you can adjust this to roughly. Um, actually, I'm just going to make them a little bit less. So it's easy. It's, uh, my computer's quite slow, so it's easier for me to do this model. So <clears throat> so if you need, you can uh, you can increase in the number but that will take long when you lay down when you um, load the family load the um, the curtain panel family into this model okay so so tab select the other face and the device surface and let's do the same 5 by 10 so okay so now we need to have a look at this image. So we're going to model. Um, so this will be the one panel. Okay, so uh, so this one will be the one panel, and we just need to model this as a curtain panel pattern based family. So let's go back here. <coughs> New family curtain panel pattern base open and uh, so place a point here so draw on face pick the middle point and then select these two spline reference line one two spline reference line so now we're going to um, place some profile okay so point draw on face one profile just anywhere on this line 
and uh, we will need so one two one two to another point here so and then reference 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 um rectangle draw on work plan set work plan pick this uh, work plan of uh, vertical work plan on this point and draw profile so let me check um 60 here yeah, so okay so if if you want to you can add dimension and uh, uh, create parameter but uh, for this exercise I'm just going to use this profile okay so and also oh, actually I don't need this one I'll delete it because I can copy this and pick this point <coughs> and pick new holes pick this part so now select this profile and also um, actually I'm going to tab pick this one and uh, this one create the form so we have so now we have uh, so one two edge because when, when we repeat this pattern so we don't re we don't need all full edge because then you will all have like overlapping uh, framing so so we only need two of them so okay so and then this one profile and also these two so I'll create four and if you don't so if we do it this way so you will see all these like a little angle here if if you don't like them you, you probably need to model them separately like one two but uh, for now I'll just I'll just keep it so now load this family into uh, the project and uh, let's go to 3d view <coughs> pick this face and go here and so select this family 3 which is modeled and that's that's it so this is the frame and uh, then repeat this one select family 3 so you can still adjust the shape if you want to for example if you want to change the height you can still go to the elevation the, uh, maybe uh, I want to change the height and lower it down so you can just adjust this reference plan and uh, all the all the element all these will just follow the shape of this mass okay <coughs> so now um, because because I didn't I only model for each one I'll tap select this one so you can see so I only model one here and one here I didn't model this one and this one so when when these families placed on this mess so I'm missing here so I for to to fix this we can do this so create a new family generic model adaptive open place two point and make adaptive then spline then reference on so <coughs> excuse me <coughs> then place a point draw on face place a point and then create a um, I'll do a, a same profile so I do a rectangle. Oops, sorry. Uh, reference rectangle set work plan. Pick the vertical work plan and then draw a shape. So, so, so last one I did is 60 by 100, I believe. And then I'm just going to move this to okay center. And then I, I will probe. Um, it's okay because I'm not going to <coughs> because I'm not going to make a parameter and uh, change the size. So just one is enough. If I need to change the size, I need one on each side and use two profile. So for this one, I'll just do it like this one. So now it's all good. So load this into project. Okay. So now let's go to 3D view. 
And uh, before I place this this one, this edge, I'm going to turn select this one, turn the component off, and turn the surface on. And then, so now if I select this face and come here, display properties. So I check the node. So with the nodes on, I can create a component. So this is a, a adaptive family we create. So this only for the edge. So one, two. And here I'm going to show you a little tip. So if I only create one and then repeat, and you will see it will be placed on every, um, what's that called, grid like uh, at this direction so you know this we don't want to place it here okay so so what we need to do let me just control z <coughs> so i'll place <coughs> another one so here to and also when i place i'll just delete this one when i before i place our temporary hide this so make sure I'm placing this one on the nodes, nodes, sorry, in a uh, HR. Now I select these two and repeat. So it will only repeat on this grid. So okay, let's let's repeat. Select this one, uncheck component, check surface, and then here check the nodes. Okay, create component. So one and two, and select it. Temporary high. Oops. Like H H. Yep, yeah, good. And create another one here to here. So now H R. And then select this. Select these two. And the repeat. So now, if I can select this face again, uncheck surface and check component. This one same, uncheck surface, check component. So now we have all the. So now we have this um, roof roughly. The main structure of the roof is uh, finished. So um, that. I think that's it for today. Tomorrow we're going to uh, we're going to model a little bit more detail into so into this roof. So for example, all these patterns, and it looks like this this panels being uh, you can open and close this panel as well. So maybe we'll try try this tomorrow. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you, see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.